Hey everyone, we're excited to announce a new update for our Super 3D Paid users. This update introduced Generators, a set of tools designed to help you create simple 3D models from shapes. First, let's explore the Extruder function, which allows you to add depth to any shape in the new Advanced 3D Engine. For the best results, use a square composition with the size of 1000 pixels. You can create one by clicking the first button. To get started, select the shape layer and click the second parse button. This will convert the first path in the layer into a 3D shape in the Super 3D widget. Adjust the settings to modify your model, including depth, size, bevel options. Crease angle control edges smoothness. For some shapes, it could be a bit different. Once you are satisfied with your adjustments, select the material and click the Create button. Alternatively, you can select the shape and click the third button to pause and create the model in one step. Cool, now you have 3D model that you can use in any 3D software. The main requirement is to use path shapes. If you are working with parametric shapes, convert them into Bezier path first. Another small feature allows you to create holes in 3D shapes. To do this, you can use additional path below the main one. If you don't see the hole, try reversing the path direction. Then select the hole layer and apply parse function. Great, let's review other functions. The lathe function extrudes your shape around the center, which is located on the left side of the composition. Create a new composition using the first button and draw a cross-section of your desired object, such as a waist or a plate. Press the pause button to transform your shape into a 3D model. You can easily update the model by changing the shape at any time. Create any complex forms. Update the model. Great. Additional controllers allow you to slice the model at a specific angle and offset it. It will help create more complex models with different materials. Segment options let you adjust the model's detail. Activate wireframe styling in the settings to make these changes more noticeable. While a higher number of polygons improves the result, it may also reduce performance. Let's check the next tube generator. The tube generator creates a 3D path from any 2D path you draw, extruding a 3D form with a specific radius. If you add a stroke modifier to the path, it will detect the stroke widths and create a 3D variant with the same radius. As with other generators, you can control the number of polygons for accuracy. You can also change the line cap style between butt cap and round cap. The widget will add hemispheres to the path end and start. In addition to flat shapes, you can use 3D paths using null layers. This technique requires special preparation, so we've added a script to simplify the process. Select the layer and press the fourth button. This script links path points and path tangents to the separated nulls and unite them with the main null. Using this null, you can rotate and change the scale of the whole path. Small pink nulls linked to the point tangents. You can control them separately and all at once with bigger red null. This rig helps you create more advanced path in 3D space. To convert the 3D path into a 3D model, select the shape layer and press the parse or create 3D model buttons. That's it. Cool. 
We hope you find this update useful and enjoy exploring the new possibilities it offers. Happy creating!